What's up everybody? Today I wanted to share the pros and cons of hiking with an umbrella. At the beginning of the 21st century, the Umbrella Corporation had become the largest commercial... Not that kind of umbrella. My umbrella I love, I love that kind of umbrella. Well, kinda. There's a bunch of umbrellas out there, but this one's probably the most popular one amongst hikers. It's the Swing Light Flex Trek Umbrella. It weighs about seven ounces and has a carbon fiber shaft as well as ribs and a polyester canopy coated in Teflon. Now, you can get a bunch of different umbrellas out there. They actually make models smaller than this. Uh, so, be sure to do your research before you're actually gonna get one if you do decide to get one. But let's look at some of the pros and cons about carrying an umbrella. Easily the number one pro of having an umbrella is the added sun protection. Now, on the PCT, you're hiking in the desert and it is extremely hot and there's no shelters and every now and then you'll find a Joshua tree for shade. So having one of these added roughly 10 degrees of temperature difference when I was hiking along. Now, it doesn't stop the heat from coming off of the ground at you, but it does give you a nice little bit of protection uh, from the sun, so sun protection is definitely number one. Uh, number two would have to be rain, sleet, and snow protection. Uh, there's no shelters on the PCT, so you could never get out of the elements if you wanted to unless you were in town. So I found myself using it more when I was just setting up camp or making lunch in the afternoon when it was raining or just really hot out. Uh, it's just kind of a little makeshift shelter. So I didn't always use it, but the times that I did, I was definitely glad I had it. It's multi-purpose. You can use this as a beak for a tarp setup instead of having to carry a beak. Uh, so when you set it up, you can just pull it over where your head is and just protect you from any rain that way so you can cut down on having to carry the extra weight of the beak for your shelter. So not only do you get protection from the elements when you're just walking with it or carrying it or resting with it, but it can be used as part of your shelter setup too. Cons, the weight. So granted it's only about seven ounces, I found myself not using it more than I was using it. So even though it's seven ounces, that's still seven ounces that I was carrying a lot of the time for absolutely no reason. Carrying it, uh, just carrying it was kind of a hassle. I saw a lot of people in the desert breaking their umbrellas because what would happen is, you know, people would open their umbrella up and attach it to their packs on their straps and then when a big gust of wind picks up it would just totally ruin the umbrella and I saw that happen multiple times uh, even though it's you know 90 to 100 degrees out in the desert you still get a lot of wind out there and it will destroy your umbrella so what I did was I would just hold it in one hand and a trekking pole in the other, but that was kind of a pain in the butt to do, especially when you're getting rained on or dying of heat, so that kind of sucked. I took a poll on Instagram to see what people thought about hiking with an umbrella, and these were the results. When asked, hiking with an umbrella? Question mark. 71 people said yes, and 90 people said no. So the popular opinion is not to hike with an umbrella. However, that's not by much, so I think it's really personal preference. So in conclusion, if I were to go back and hike the Appalachian Trail again, I would not carry an umbrella, just because I feel like it's an unneeded luxury item, and you can suck it up for eight to 12 miles until you hit the next shelter. Uh, when I go back to the PCT, I will carry an umbrella because having the extra protection from the sun in the desert sections is paramount. Uh, it can help prevent heat stroke and just having an extra little bit of shade is well worth the wait in my opinion. 
Uh, but again, I think it really boils down to where you're gonna be hiking. If you're gonna be in a desert or exposed to a lot of sun, I would carry an umbrella. If you're gonna carry it just for rain, I'd say suck it up and just, you know, push through it because you really don't need an umbrella if you've got a good rain jacket or rain setup. So that's my two cents on that and I think that wraps up this video but I'd really like to hear what you guys think about hiking with an umbrella and if you've got something to share please leave it in the comments and as always thanks for watching. Happy trails.